through real shit before this fight, you feel me? Like, he was going through real life shit on the day. Also, Juice World probably, like, for sure. Lil Pete probably too, like, Stunner for Vegas. Probably for sure. Okay. Quiet! For sure, Mac, Mac Miller. Yeah, everyone goes through shit. Yeah, you feel me? So like, when I when I also say, um, I don't know, it's just hard to explain, bro. Like, I just I don't I went like live about it. You feel me? Like, oh, I'm a, you feel me? Cause I don't know, man. It's hard to explain, but I ain't don't I don't want none of my fans. I don't want nobody to think stunning no pills or get none of that. You feel me? Cause I don't even. I don't get down like that, you feel me? Like, um, when I do it, it's to be in my family. For sure. Like, it's legit to have fun. It don't. I mean, you can take Viagra, you know, if you really want more stamina. <laughs> That's another way to do it. Go ahead. I ain't yeah. gonna say it just because I ain't gonna say either. Like, you feel me? Like, like I say, bro, niggas go through real life. Like, perks help. A lot of niggas get through shit. Like, you don't know how many situations one perk probably helped Juice World through. Caution. I repeat. Caution. For the next 10 minutes, you will be taken inside the mind of today's rappers. This is The Stupid Rapper Show. Hosted by Ayo Canseco. Welcome back to the Stupid Rapper Show. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Man 2 Movement. Um, and this is, of course, the Stupid Rapper Show. Today we're looking at another one of uh, DJ Vlad's interviews. Hopefully this one doesn't get dead like the Quando Rondo one. Uh, but the Quando Rondo, that, that, was, that shit was so real. I had to rock it how I rocked it. They blocked it. I had to edit the motherfucker again and then re-upload. If you haven't seen the uh, Quando Rondo video, it's titled The One That They Took Down. Uh, make sure you go see that shit. Um, today we're looking at Stunner for Vegas speak about taking Percocets after the death of Juice World. I really want to play the whole thing, but it's not really shit that I can say up to this point. And I don't want to just be watching this shit, you know what I'm saying, and having this shit playing, because I think that's why they fuck they hit the last one, because it was just too much audio um, without me talking and shit like that. So um, we're going to get right to the point, because it was a funny part I did want y'all to see, though. Let's go, let's go back a little bit. What up? 96? That, that's the way he switched up. Watch this shit, watch this. No, bro, dude got a good heart. No, I mean, the baby's good at all the little extra shit in the videos. Like, he, he, he like, acts silly. You know, he doesn't try to act hard in, in his videos, it seems. It seems like he has fun. Yeah, plays yeah I wouldn't say act silly. I'll say act. Okay. He just have fun. Well, I mean, he wore a diaper. I mean, you know, that's, that's at some point. This is why I say <laughs> silly. You know, it's not an insult. I'm just saying Stomp he has fun. Stomp his ass. Stomp his stupid ass, nigga. The fuck? That's not silly? That's having fun. He just stomp this stupid ass. You can't, and that's, that's, dog, that's my whole everything, my nigga. Come on, dog. Like, niggas, niggas, like, you do retarded shit, and then when nigga would call that shit retarded, then, uh, man, hold up, my nigga. You wore a diaper. Bitch, you suck dick for 40 dollars. Bitch, you come on stage with stripper clothes. I'm wrong for calling you a stripper. You talk about fucking niggas for money. I'm wrong for calling you a pro What the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Like I said, 2020 though, we doing a lot of fucking spring cleaning AO Nation, my nigga. Real talk. If you with this fantasy world bullshit, my nigga, get the fuck from around, my nigga. Real talk. We calling it what the fuck it is over here. Fuck by it, nigga. Yeah. Uh, does a perk give you more stamina during sex? <laughs> I've never yeah. taken perks before. Yeah, like, you remember, a lot of niggas be saying, them don't give you more stamina, but at the end, you also might be taking perk. Yeah, they do. They ain't no lie. They do. 
I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna be known. You might not bust. I'm sure there's something science, scientific about it, but I don't know the scientific part, but it's damn sure do. People that's like on his platform and where he at? They look, hold on, they look. I'm asking our opinion. Airbnb to Airbnb going up on them things. Okay. On them things. Well, just the nigga, just he, just goofy looking ass nigga, man. Just. You talk about taking perks. Oh man. Most recently, Juice World. <laughs> uh, who who talked about perks in all the songs? Oh man. And uh, you know, it's a story. You know, we don't have the. I guess they're doing a, a final uh, autopsy. But the story is, is that he saw the police coming and he took a bunch of perks. He just tried to swallow a bunch of them. And at 21 years old. I want y'all to also pay attention to this. This is why getting your shit together is so fucking important. Because when you get on this level, this how close and this how good the cameras are. They getting everything. Any flaw that you have is going to be exaggerated and people will make memes out of that shit. So you really got to make sure that you ready for this life. To all the artists who, you know what I'm saying, like you have little flaws that you don't like about yourself and you know that motherfuckers going to talk about it, you either become at one, like be at peace with that shit or fix it. Because, nigga, it don't get no more HD in this shit. And that's why I gotta, whoever did this nigga teeth and his jewelry, like, I gotta salute them because you need to you know, be at peace with your flaws or fix them shit because now yeah, why I gotta salute his jeweler because nigga teeth is set up perfect. Old. Really one of the biggest rappers in the game right now. Did you, did you uh, beat him? I swallow a bunch of them, and at 21 years old, really one of the biggest rappers in the game right now. Did you, did you uh, beat him? Beat him yeah, just where, like, that's out of people that's, like, on his platform and where he at, he was, like, one of the first per people to, like, yeah, to show me and baby real love, like, huh. genuine love, like, Pull up on us at a show in New York, and I don't even know if the show was sold out. If it was, yeah, it was because of SOBs. And SOBs ain't that big. Yeah, it's a small venue. Yeah, it was. Just, but he pulled up, you feel me? He pulled up, no security. Like him and his people. Now he has, I don't know what he did. I don't know how he pulled up, but I know he pulled up, and it was like love. It wasn't, it was just like, damn, just where we've we been through this nigga. And, and that's how he acted with us. Like, I've been through these niggas. Like, he came around, got comfortable, we got comfortable. Baby bought him out, he performed. I think he ended up bringing Baby out to a big show. Like, it was love with dude. It was love with dude. 21, man, you're 23 right now. Yeah. You live two years longer than Juice World already. And think about how much fun you've had these last two years. 21 is a baby. It is really just, just barely but, started, But, man. like, man. Why do I got the feeling that he finna say something stupid? I just have a feeling that he's about to say something stupid. I'll make a quick statement right here. But when you want them, when you want them opiates, here's the thing: you're gonna do a lot of crazy shit, and a lot of people gonna have good memories of you. You know how some people just do oh, what's up, man. I love everybody when they drunk or when they high on weed. You be the same way on the tails, perks, roxes, oxes, all that shit, like you just, oh, what's up? It's just love, like you just wanna do some shit and it's just all love. So when, and you'll be, and that's, you'll, you'll overextend yourself and you'll be some, like you'll be too friendly if that's in you and shit like that. And, and that's how a lot of business get fucked up because you, you making decisions or doing shit. So you might do a verse with somebody cause you just high like, oh fuck, I do that shit. And now the song goes somewhere and you don't got your, your business correct on it. And now you got to be for the rapper to get, you know what I'm saying, that shit together. So that's business and dope don't mix. Not even in the drug game. But I just have a feeling he's going to say something stupid. One thing I can say about that, bro. 
the situation that everybody's saying and why he did it, like, I just hate it for him. You feel me? Like, he didn't. I, I hate it for him. I don't even feel right speaking on the man death, though. Like, you know, it just don't feel right, but I say, nigga, it wasn't me. Okay. You know, like, you gonna remember Juice World for sure. Yeah. No. I didn't even know he was 21, though. Like, just because of how he moved, I thought he was, old, like, you feel me? But, like, yeah. I mean, you got Juice World. You got Fredo Santana. A rapper that talks about murder, homicide, and killing niggas don't like to speak on a man's death. A rapper who talks about smoking ops and blunts don't like to speak about, like, it's just, the shit is just fucking retarded, my nigga, like, and that's why I love real fucking interviewers when they, like, can magnify how fucking special Ed these niggas is so it can be understood that there is a fucking criteria. That's all I want to prove. There is a criteria that has to be followed. Like, you do not want a smart fucking artist. You want fucking whatever fruit his head resembles. Them head ass niggas. You got little people. All these deaths. I'm full of I'm full of yeah. so hard, bro. All these deaths were drug overdoses in the past, whatever, couple of years. Does that make you think differently about popping a perk to give you more salmon? <laughs> I don't think so. No? Because, uh, uh, like I also said. Nigga could have just said, I don't think so. But now he's going to go into why he don't think so after talking about how. Hey. I can't speak on their deaths because are you kidding me? I know them because they were famous before me. Man. But I also know like Fredo Santana was going through real shit before this fame, you feel me? Like he was going through real life shit on the daily. Also Juice World probably like for sure. Lil Pete probably too, like Stun of Old Vegas for sure. Mac, Mac, Mac Miller. Yeah, everyone goes through shit. Yeah, you feel me? So like when I when I also say, um, I don't know, it's just hard to explain, bro. Like I just I don't I wouldn't like lie about it. You feel me? Like oh I'm a you feel me? Cause I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. But I ain't don't I don't want none of my fans. I don't want nobody to think stunning no pills or none of that. You feel me? Cause I don't even. I'm not gonna get on a nigga because you know the camera will make you nervous. So obviously, the peel drink that don't make sense. I'm not gonna nitpick it, nigga. What I'm gonna say is this: giving niggas a reason, like it's okay to pop peel because you're going through real shit. Like what? What was that to even say? As long as you're going through real shit, you can pop peel. So you don't know what they were going through, man. Come on, man. I don't get down like that, you feel me? Like, I don't. Like what? When I do it, it's to be with my family. For sure. Like, it's legit to have fun. It don't. When I do it, it's to give me more stamina. It's to have fun. So, if I'm living tour life, every night I'm having fun. Do you not see how, or if I'm a regular fucking person, I want to have fun every day. I want, I want to hear this shit in complete sense. I want to hear it complete. All these deaths were drug overdoses in the past, whatever, a couple of years. Does that make you think differently about popping a perk to give you more salmon? <laughs> and they can't even see he dissing no. uh, Cause uh, like I also said, I can't speak on their deaths cause are you feeling me? I know them because the, they was famous before me, right? But I also know, like, Fredo Santana was going through real shit before this fame, you feel me? Like, he was going through real life shit on the daily. Also, Juice World probably, like, for sure. Lil Pete probably, too, like, Stun of Old Vegas. Probably for sure. Okay. Quiet! 
For sure. Mac, Mac Miller. Yeah, everyone goes through shit. Yeah, you feel me? So like, when I when I also say, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, bro. Like, I just, I don't, I went like live about it. You feel me? Like, oh, I'm a, you feel me? Cause. I don't know, man. It's hard to explain, but I ain't don't. I don't want none of my fans. I don't want nobody to think stunning no pills. Don't get none of that. You feel me? Because I don't even. I don't get down like that. You feel me? Like I don't. When I do it, it's to be the most family. For sure. Like it's legit to have fun. It don't. If you take Viagra, you know, if you really want more stamina. <laughs> That's another way to do it. Go ahead. I ain't yeah. gonna say it just because I ain't gonna say it either. Like you feel me? Like like I say, bro, niggas go through real life like perks. Help a lot of niggas get through shit. Like you don't know how many situations one perk probably helped juice world through. You feel me? Quiet. As long as you're going through something, who says this? Who would say that is what I'm asking. You don't have any type of sense to say, and if you don't want your, your fans to think that, then why wouldn't you say, oh yeah, they do make me, uh, Juice World's death, and I fuck with Fredo hard, so his death made me look at doing prescription drugs differently. If that's, how you if you didn't want them to look at you like a pill drinker why wouldn't you tell them that you think about it differently like future maybe future does do drugs but in the interview he say i don't even do them drugs because he doesn't want his followers to follow him even though it's more and but you ain't never seen future pop no pill you hear it in his music and shit like that, but he could be speaking past tense. I be trying, I be trying to find fucking loophole for future and shit. But at the same time, if, if this is what, like I said, the only thing about it is, if this is what you put out there, what I ask for you to do is give both sides of it. The same thing with the strip up bitches, the the whole that uh, prostitute and shit like that in their music. Give the other side of it. If you talking about how good popping the pill feel talk about how bad you know it feels when you can't get them but that's not cool so you won't say it the same way it's not cool to say as a prostitute rapper uh i, I can't even look at myself in the mirror because i don't recognize that girl i hate who i am now i have to do drugs in order to even deal with myself if i'm not in a in a inebriated if I'm not in an inebriated state, then I cannot function. The depression is too deep. I need help. But that's not cool to say. But so but you will glamorize a lifestyle that you wish you never entered. Can you not see how that's how a person wouldn't like that, especially a person with children. How how does that make you feel as a peel head that a person comes up to you and says, man, you the reason I started popping these motherfuckers. That right there should destroy you because you know that you've passed the curse on to this person through music and you're a child and I know what you're about to go through and that's when you're gonna you should shape their whole life by saying please get off of them that's when you have to have a, a, a coming to Jesus moment and, and I told you about the good part and I know you've experienced the good part, but there is a flip side that I didn't even recognize. And I couldn't say it in my music because it was too embarrassing. The truth has to come out one way or another. 
see, this is an this is an artist who's just getting in the game and shit like that, and they're just starting to experience shit. Like you haven't been on, you know, that many tours yet. You haven't did the the billboard shit and all that shit like that. But as a weathered artist, like get you five, three years in the game, and you'll have a different perspective, and you'll look back at what you were saying and, and just be so fucking you'll feel guilty you'll feel extremely guilty and I'm not and like I said like you feel me I'm not saying everybody gonna pop perks is the best thing you I'm not saying you feel me I'm just telling you I can't you feel me I maybe I'll think about it I ain't popped a perk in like two, three weeks now. Why didn't you start off saying that? Come on, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Back to Let me get, let's get the fuck off of there. Mm -hmm. But you want to fuck with Bambi. Mm -hmm. What a new Juice mm -hmm. World video is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do part two in a minute, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. man, I just, like, mm -hmm. niggas mm -hmm. talking this, who the fuck is that, oh, mm -hmm. niggas mm -hmm. talking this fucking, uh, this pill shit, and it, it, it's just more of the fucking same, we can't even, and this is why we can't get anywhere as a culture, because no matter what happens, there is going to be someone who rides with the shit. No matter how wrong it is, somebody's gonna be like, well, she really depend on how you look at the shit. There will be no solidarity. We won't come together for any reason, even if it's to better ourselves, to save ourselves. We won't do it. And the CIA agents know that. So they can get, just keep pushing shit down our throat. Because I really believe that they're the ones that first come through and say, well, not actually. Well, technically, he didn't do nothing wrong because they fucked this. Come on, my nigga. But this stupid rapper show, man, uh, we're going to do part two in a minute. If y'all ain't on the Patreon, get to the fucking Patreon. That's on the Patreon, what else? The Don't Be a Dummy exclusive. Uh, a whole live is on there. Oh, yeah, if you ain't seen How to Clean Your Cat, uh, make sure you go see that. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love. Get your shit together, big home. Um, this is obviously the Big Bang podcast. Uh, this is a special episode of the Big Bang podcast that is only um, <laughs> on the Patreon. Um, even though this stuff oh, is so fucking serious, 